Hey guys, welcome by this new Cinema 4D request. Uh, what I mean with request? Well, today I got a request from Game Dexterity, and he asked me how to create animated text where or create a word and then the letter starts spinning into the camera or into the view. So that's what he wanted, and I th think he wanted something like this. I hope that was it. If not, please send me a message again, but I still have a tutorial on. So, uh, we're going to use MoGraph text and two MoGraph effectors to make this cool effect. So, I'm not going to do it keyframe by keyframe, but I'm just going to, you all, you know, create two keyframes and do it the easy way. So, yeah, we're going to delete this stuff. My camera is already set up here kind of so it's kind of quicker to hit file new to set up my camera again. So <laughs> for this one go to MoGraph hit Mo Text and we're gonna make the we're gonna align this in the middle. And we're just gonna make the text uh, can't even spell my own name really bad. Okay once we have this we can go ahead go to MoGraph and hit effector and a plane effector. Now what the plane effector does is it affects the text letter per letter and that's pretty much what Versatile or Game Dexterity want. Uh, he calls himself Versatile I hope I'm s or pronouncing your name correct. Anyways, um, yeah, it the plane effector really affects the letters uh, letters individually so that's pretty awesome we're gonna change the P dot Y to zero because we don't want it to actually move in the Y axis but we want it to move in the Z axis but we're gonna come back to that later first off we're gonna change the fall off right here to from infinite to box and we're now we're gonna position the box correctly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the yellow part well kind of like that a little bit further than normal text and the um, red box I'm going to really snap that around just around the text as you can see that I'm doing right here it's just outside the text which is pretty much what we want now here's the fun part here's w what we're going to do uh, here we go to parameter and select rotation here and we can go and s rotate the text right here which is pretty interesting I'm going to go ahead and oh, do something like that then we're going to hit p.z and we're going to move it back so it comes out of the camera out of the yeah focus out of the view and it comes back in so we're gonna, just going to put it on 1488. Remember if this is not the exact animation that you want please change the settings. I mean play with the play, uh, plane effector and it really works really. So yeah what we're gonna do next is we're gonna keyframe this box because if we slide this as you can see it really comes in great. So I'm gonna add a little bit more keyframes here some like 200 and oh, that's maybe a little bit too much. Anyways, 200 is okay, and we're gonna basically keyframe the plane effector and put it right there. Go to 200. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Go to frame 200 and reposition that and hit the keyframe button. So what we get is this really cool, really nice animation. Now. What is really harsh on this animation is that once the text is in the view and comes at its original place, it really snaps on there and it's not really easing. It's not really, it's, it's not really, yeah, how to say that. It's really harsh to say it like that. It's more like it needs to be smooth, it needs to be smoother on that location. So. The thing that we need to do is select the mode text and hit MoGraph and hit Effector 
and hit delay and once we have uh, once we have that and we hit play you see that it really well is a lot more nicely coming in there and to make it a little bit more nicer go to the effector and make the strength 75 percent and that will make it really beautiful and really n a nice ease as you can see a really nice ease so that's really much what we're yeah that was pretty much a tutorial first of all our game dexterity I hope this was what you were looking for and yeah I hope I helped you with it and as you can see for other people that are watching this video I really respond to requests so yeah if you have any questions on this one or other videos that I have please comment or PM me on YouTube that's fine as well anyways thanks for watching this and I'm gonna see you guys later bye